As some of you may or may not know, uh, Nick Roche on his uh, blog has declared this Wreckers Awareness Week uh, to get people up to speed on Last Stand of the Wreckers, issue 2, right here. just came out this past week in comic book shops, and he wants everybody to know about it. Um, and it is good. Last Stand of the Wreckers, uh, Nick Roche does the art. Um, and it's a good story. It's got Cup, uh, Springer, Ultra Magnus... Um, the Wreckers Overlords in it, um, Guzzle, Iron Fist, a bunch of guys. Um, so I, I've been planning on doing this uh, last stand of the Wreckers Awareness Week. Uh, anyway, here's the first issue um, here. Um, I, I was planning on doing this this weekend, and I just it's been really busy, it's been really busy. Uh, and one of the reasons that I'm doing it now, I finally remembered to do it now, is because one of the things I was busy with today is I was working at my um, other job writing for Fangoria, we were at a local um, comic convention here in Richmond. And at that local comic convention was John Wyckoff. Now, you may not know that name right off the bat. Um, John Wyckoff, if you look here in Last End of the Wreckers, um, see inks, Nick Roche and John Wyckoff. Um, Nick Roche has been inking some of his pages, and John Wyckoff has been inking others to help them uh, you know, stay on schedule. And as such, um, at this comic book convention, was actually selling um, original inked art. Um, so I got some pages of original inked art from La Last Stand of the Wreckers. Uh, this is the actual, I mean, you, if you look closely at it, you can see uh, where some of the the pen pen lines and all that stuff. This is the actual inked art from Last Stand of the Wreckers. Um, I got page six from issue one. I um, want you to see that here oh, with a group shot there. Um, I also got page 21 from issue one, which is this uh, this page right here, um, over here on the side, um, with Verity and stuff. And I mostly bought it for this last panel down here because it's Springer, Ultra Magnus, and Cup. And um, as you can see on the uh, without the word bubbles, um, that art is just beautiful. I mean, I, I love. Nick Roche's art, I think he's probably the best. Um, he's certainly my favorite of the current Transformer artists, possibly my favorite Transformer artist ever. Um, I love what he did with Cup in his spotlight. Um, I, I just think his, his, his art style is very expressive without being overly cartoony and is very cool and very fitting. Uh, but yeah, th this, this page, uh, it's a nice page overall, but this page was pretty much bought for this panel right here, especially Cup's reaction shot down here uh, in the corner. Um, a very nice page. Um, so those are the two pages I got from issue one. Now, from issue two, um, and, and these are the ones that I really, really love. I got the original art. Um, here's page one of issue two. It's got Cup and a bunch of the wreckers going after Overlord. Um, and I happen to get that original art here, um, which is just awesome. You can see the, the punch. Very nice. Um, and I also got, um, if you're keeping up, I won't give away the story, but um, the last page of the of the issue does feature Overload in a rather ominous pose here. I'm in a full page spread. And um, I managed to get that piece of art as well. Um, so very, very cool. I got some very nice... Um, pieces of art. These are going to be cherished. I uh, thank you to Mr. Wyckoff for uh, selling these um, at the at the convention. Um, he was very cool. He was very nice to talk to. Um, thank you to Nick Roche for doing just such a wonderful art. Um, I really, I really do. Um, if you're if you happen to be watching this, I um, I meant what I said. I really do think you're probably the best Transformers artist, certainly of the current series. Um, and quite possibly my favorite Transformers artist ever. So thank you for working on them. Um, I'd love to see it. If, you, if it were possible, I'd love to see you doing the art on the regular mainline book every month. Because I love it so much. But the, there's that first page from Last Stand of the Records number 2, just one last time. Um, just very, very cool. So a very nice haul today. Um, and certainly, if, if you haven't read it yet, check out, uh, as part of Records Awareness Week, Check out Last Stand of the Wreckers, um, issues one and two. 
um, are out on stands now. Um, this one is the Trevor Hutchinson cover. Uh, this one is the regular cover. Um, I got the Trevor Hutchinson cover for number one. I got the regular cover for number two. That's just how they left them in my uh, in my pool box. Um, I do want to hunt down the Trevor Hutchinson cover for issue two. I like his covers. Um, I like to keep them uniform within my series. But, um, but these two are out right now, um, and I know for a fact that uh, number three is currently being worked on. So uh, we'll see that when it hits stands. But anyway, um, just remember, it's Wreckers Awareness Week. If you haven't already checked it out and you like Transformers, get to your comic shop. Check out Last Stand of the Wreckers. It really is a great book. Um, features some fun characters, some lesser-known characters. Um, got some great art in it. Check it out.